Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I'm Eduardo Gulfan and in today's video guys, actually this is not a tutorial but this is a demo of my new login form which is totally different from my previous login form because before I'm using the user level type but now I'm using the user permission control just like this one guys. Click this admin and here we go. I have a list of accounts and then we're using the checkbox. And as you observe guys, above, the current user is admin and here, the details, the admin has all the access of the tabs above. Receiving issuance reports until the admin tab. So, this is also checked. So, that's why all the tabs are enabled. But how about, guys, we will log in another user account. For example, the account of John Smith. The username is John and the password is 123. And, for example, guys, we will uncheck this one. So, receiving issuance report until the admin tab, he has no access right. So, let us log, log in. It should be disabled, guys, when we log in. So, click this. And then, cho yes, change user account. So, Jan. And then, the password is 123. Click log in. Here we go guys, receiving issuance report and also the admin tab is disabled but the rest of the tab is enabled. So for example this one, stock market. So he has an access for this. So let's go back to the admin. And in here, so what if guys, uh, if ever we forgot to give and access rights to the particular user for example this one the user one he has no access rights any access rights so there should be a message guys so let us log in user one change user okay user one password is 123 log in so the message is sorry you don't have access any access to the database please contact your administrator for assistance when we click this okay that the database guys will be closed this is it so now let us go back let us go back to admin so how about to add another user account so i have a command button here add user let's type for example maria and then the user is maria and then for the password this is option uh, this is default guys password we cannot change this because we will let the user to change their own password so here let's proceed to the access rights if we want to select all if you want to give all access, but if you want to customize, for example, admin, this is uncheck. So, let's try this and then close. It's automatic save. I forgot to put a refresh here, but we can click this admin. Click admin. Okay. Maria. So, let us try this. Okay. Maria. And the password is... Password also. Show password. Let us check. Okay. Wrong spelling. Log in. Then please change your password. So, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Save and log in. Maria again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Login. Here we go, guys. So, he can access to receiving. Let's try. And close. For the stock entry. And then, I think this is enough, guys. Soon, I will create a video about this. I hope you like this video, guys. That's all. Thank you. And see you to my next video.